town of Yalgu. Um, 1892, five prospectors or something, they went out and uh, followed a, uh, um, a river, Green, Green Off River, and uh, apparently they come across uh, local Aboriginals and uh, their kids were playing with uh, coloured stones, mostly gold. And uh, obviously that sort of drove uh, development into the town of Yagu as everybody sort of float, flocked to this sort of area, which is a big triangle of stuff. You got Yagu, uh, Payne's Fine, Mount Magnet, Sandstone, Mekathara, and then onwards to Kulgadi and Kalgoorlie. So, little town. But, yeah, there's a, the, it's called Emerald Mine. But I think it's not him, but it's gold. Um, and then down over here is uh, my old mate John Hawks again, Reverend Designer. One of his little chapels down there, we'll go and have a look. So, yeah, the great sparse land of the outback. Obviously, now uh, Yalgu is uh, popular for. Um, uh, farming, tourism, wildflowers, so, uh, a little spot. So here we have St. Hyacinth's Chapel in uh, the Algu. Um, it was built during uh, 1921 and 1922. It's the smallest church design um, from um, Mr. John Hawk there, Reverend John Hawk. Can I tell you that Yagu was the most distant town of his parish, which he initially referred as the end of the earth and a place where he just flopped and struggled here. Found the heat pretty hard. So, this inner war Rome, Romanesque style masonry chapel with a terracotta tiled roof and timber framed bell tower, one of 23 remaining buildings. Designed by Hawks. Chapel was constructed, yeah, it fell to disrepair after it was shut down in 1949. But it's been reopened and restored back in 1981 by the Shire. So that's what the existing chimneys were for the uh, convent that was. Uh, coupled with the, the church. Jeez, it really fell into some disrepair. How's that? Operating from nine to, uh, 1896 to the 1900s, the original hospital of Yagu was a collection of simple canvas structures. About a bit drafty. Oh, it would have been bloody hot though too. Howdy folks, well this looks like we'll uh, pitch a tent here at uh, Yalgu, there's a nice little uh, caravan park down the way, we're going to knock on their door and see whether they'll uh, take uh, take us in, but in the meantime we were parked there at these beautiful big uh, entry signs to Yalgu, um, and they've got bunches of uh, history signs as well around the place too, so there's uh, looks like plenty to read up on the old history of uh, Yalgu, and uh, yeah, if you're lucky enough to be here at this time of the year, those fantastic uh, wallflowers are just everywhere. So all sorts of colours as you're driving through. Love it. Anyway, we'll see if we can get ourselves a room for the night. Ah, the cute little township of Yalgu. Well, we liked it that much. We thought we'd pull up stumps here and uh, stay the night. So uh, there we are, all uh, parked up at the caravan park here. We drove past and well, one, two, three, there, there might be a dozen people there. So uh, it'll obviously get busier as the, uh, the day goes on probably as people are driving through. But um, yeah, good little spot, nice little historic town to come on in and um, check it all out. It's good. Um, this place here too, the caravan park that you stop at, they are also kind of like the, the caretakers to some of the, the historic areas so they've got a little pamphlet here you can grab and um, go out and do the old trail and things which is cool but um, 
nice nice new toilet facilities back there showers and toilets all in one there's about eight of them all around the place so they're nice and convenient all fairly new and modern um, the road the main road is just down the side there but it doesn't seem too bad during the day and can't see it being too bad during the night as well there's a couple of road trains that go by but no more than your no more than your standard highway so yep yeah, that's our goo in a nutshell Enjoy. we will power just lay out and relax so yeah <clears throat> Just to add to the reason we're in the holiday park is that behind me you see some of those little om ominous little clouds. So yeah, I just was unsure about the weather, so we thought we'd just uh, play it safe, play it, come in here in case it gets rained overnight. I was going to go into a place, the Joker's Tunnel, and go and stay there for the night. We will go in there and go and have a gander at the Joker's Tunnel, and I mean if it looks all right, we might stay there tomorrow night. But. Uh, on to Mount Magnet tomorrow but uh, yeah just because we're front wheel drive and a bit of weight and all that sort of stuff there it, it just doesn't like anything that's too wet and slippery and things so steady as she goes. Oh that was lucky nearly skipped the gates without saying goodbye or where we're off to next but hey Yalgu Caravan Park and Yalgu definitely worth a check out it's a lovely little town and the Caravan Park sweet good night's sleep and great facilities. So we're just going to head down the road to the Joker Tunnel. Let's go and have a look. Alrighty, Joker's Tunnel. Feeling excited there, honey? Yes, excited about going and seeing bats. <laughs> bats, <laughs> yeah. Be. We're going to try it. Uh, one morning they said, uh, yeah, if you don't want bats in your face, don't shine lights up on the ceiling. So yeah, Joker's Tunnel, we'll find a bit more about it, but uh, it's not far out of um, uh, Yalgu. We've just uh, left there. It's only about a oh, yeah, 10, 11K trip, Tarsi almost the way. And then it just turns to that little bit of uh, cruddy stuff that you see there. I've managed to swing the van around. I wasn't gonna challenge taking it up this hill. Didn't want to get in trouble with Jude. Ah, and very funny. Never hear the end of it. I'll see what I want here, the end of it. If it's not just here and it's further over the hill, we'll be in big trouble. <laughs> Joker's Tunnel. There we go. Yeah, good looking ground. My, uh, my oaf. Haven't got up to the top of the hill yet. I'll do a swing around. This was, didn't really want to chance the van up here. Front wheel drive should probably start slipping. Look at that. There's a beautiful lake out there. And... The van. We could have stayed out here last night. There was a, a wiki camp place we could have done. But um, yeah, chance of rain, which it did. And uh, what else was there? Uh, oh, we were going to do um, those uh, that goat roast in the camp oven. So out here trying to do a goat roast with it raining and things wasn't my idea of fun. Damn it! I thought this was this is a pulling bay, obviously for for the van. So I would have got. Mm, nah, I still wouldn't want to do it. Start turning around, start to back up. Uh, get myself in a pickle. Oh, William Nottle discovered gold in Gull's Nest Range in uh, 1894. And when Yalgu Goldfield was declared the following year, his mine lease became known as Yalgu Joker. Within a year, 16 further mining leases were registered, most of them taking the names associated with Yuka and other popular card games. Left and right bower, full hand, king and queen of hearts, spades and aces etc. Gold was found here in rich pockets, 50 kilograms of stone from the initial strike, returned 3 kilograms of gold. Although the area was originally called Notty's Find, it quickly became known as the Joker. A small settlement developed quickly, including a licensed inn, also known as Joker, and 20 head gold battery. Oh, here we are, the Joker's Tunnel. And there it 
it is in relation to me. I'm going to have to duck to get in that first bit. Man, what a great place to work though. Even though you're primitive as far as tools, that view is pretty awesome. I'm alive! Up that the other side of the Joker's Tunnel. Pretty awesome, really crouched down at the bottom part of the pit. And uh, down in the background there, a little road just off to the left of me here, swung around. I think we're a little bit on the muddy side, so I'm pleased I didn't go into here. And so we had a nice little pit side here last night. Oh, what's in the hill? Awesome. Oh well. <laughs> now, highly recommend this spot to go and have a look at. Joku. Joku's fine, the Joku's uh, tunnel. Yeah. Oh, why, why Joku's is called Joku's because yes. of the card side of things, yes. aren't Yeah. So Jones, I used to play with cards. Yuka and things like that, yeah. But how's that? Three, was it three kilograms of gold and 50 kilos of rock? Tell me I didn't need it. You didn't do very good either. <laughs> that, that one there tastes different. <laughs> no, no, no. You got three kilograms of gold and 50 kilograms of rock. But later on, he was only getting three kilograms of gold or something. It might have been five. In 550 tonne of rock. It's a lot harder work. And that, good spot. Oh, you can see all where the rock went. <laughs> yeah, they're all scattered around here. It's great though. It's beautiful. What a day. Just imagine digging all the way through there with... Um with a pick. Yeah. They've done a nice tunnel though with a pick. Probably mine would have been all bloody yeses and yeah. You know, wouldn't I'll probably do a figure of eight inside the tunnel well, and then make my way out. It was only about a year he was there, Bernard. Yeah well. Yeah. yeah, but somebody goes like Eureka, I found gold elsewhere and everybody goes like ooh, that's better than where we are. Yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to the van. And on our way towards Mount Magnet days like this hopefully uh, the ground dries out and we'll be able to pull up just just shy of it i think see the caravan on the other side no no yeah. but he did i didn't go all the way through mm. all the bats <laughs> mm. scared the shit out of me 